I find the building manager? <laughs> I don't know, ma'am. Well, aren't you the elevator person? No, ma'am. Oh, no, no, of course you're not. I'm sorry. Uh, wait a minute, maybe on the uh, directory. I think you want to go to the 27th floor, ma'am. Oh, yes, thank you. You've been very helpful. How long are you going to be, lady? We're closing early for the holiday weekend. Oh, what time? 5.30. Oh, uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, park it over there. Come in. Oh, uh, yes, madam. Uh, how may I help you? Have you rented your penthouse suite yet? The penthouse? Uh, well, no, we haven't. May I see it, please? Is this for yourself? Oh, goodness, no. It's for my son. Oh, excuse me, madam. I, you are looking for a penthouse for your son. Dr. Mark Kenyon. Oh. Of course, you've heard of him. Oh, of course. And we are so pleased that you have come to look at our penthouse. <laughs> may I do just that? Oh, you certainly may. <laughs> I hope I'm not keeping you too late. For the Maybury Leasing Corporation, there is no such thing as too late. <laughs> so would you follow me, madam? Just like you said, he would. You have the briefcase? Yeah. All right, honey, we'll be about 20 minutes. I don't like these things, Pete. So you don't send them to Valentine, huh? Are there restaurants? Oh, yes, ma'am. There are two of your finest, right here in the building. My, how impressive. Hmm. They think of everything, don't they? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, we have tried to anticipate the tenants' every need. But here we are, ma'am.
Take this elevator, for instance. Do you know that we are going up at the rate of 10 feet per second? Well, I'm sure they're better than the old kind, but they're certainly not as pretty. When I was in Paris, I was in the most beautiful wrought iron elevator. Of course, you could see through it. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now, if you'll just sign this, please, sir. It isn't finished. Oh, no, ma'am, not yet. You see, from 25 to 38, we are still under construction. Is it safe? Oh, yes, ma'am, of course. See, th that is standard procedure for all your tall buildings like this. We rent the top and bottom floors first, so we finish the top and bottom floors first. And this, Mrs. Kenyon, is your most prestigious suite. Oh, it's lovely. Mm. Oh, I can assure you, Mrs. Kenyon, on a clear day, this is the most ravishing view. Yes, it's nice. Mm. Right over there, see, there's City Hall. Oh, yes, and there's the music center. <laughs> oh, I said, you won't find a view like this anywhere, not anywhere. I dare say. Mm. How much space do we have here? Ah, well, now, you have over 700 square feet in your three main offices, not to mention room for expansion, of course. But it's so bare. Well, now, you would want your son to give it his own personal touch, now, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, of course, of course. but without furniture, it's difficult to judge. Yes, well, I, I tell you, I can take you and show you Dr. Reynolds' office. His wife has done the most wonderful job redecorating. Do you think they'd mind? Oh, no, not at all. They're used to my showing it off. Good. That's very nice of you. Oh, I must warn you now, because you, you will not have the same ravishing view. Uh, plus the fact, of course, the offices will appear smaller because of the room dividers, but it is all part of our service here. <laughs> Do 
In a second, Dave. I wish we had a work late tonight, John. Me too, but we can't. And try and remember, in the office, it's doctor. Darling. It's nice, Edith. I like that there. I, I thought the colors went well in here, too. Oh. Another Alice's mother. Uh, may I bring someone in to look at the office? Well, of course. Mrs. Oh. <laughs> Kenny. Uh, this is Dr. Reynolds. This is Reynolds. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Uh, the Mayberry Leasing Corporation has tried to group offices by profession. For instance, the 40th floor has your uh, doctors and your psychiatrists. 38th floor has your builders and your architects, while the 39th floor has your business consultants. How very clownish of you. <laughs> Do you know, it only took us two weeks to set up this entire suite of offices. Every detail has been tailored to fit the requirements of your most discriminating renter in the city. Your papers. No, they're not mine. The trust is in your name. You could have done something about it. I couldn't, Robert, when you reached the age of 21. My father left me that money to do with as I wanted. Look, Robert, your stepfather has been very generous with you and understanding. It's that you do not understand the value of... Why do I listen to this? Eddie, come on, come on. Come on, man. I pushed it already. I said I pushed it. So I pushed it again, big deal. Mrs. Kenyon, we do regret this inconvenience. Next time, please use the freight elevator. Of course, now you can see how roomy your elevator Listen, is. Listen, pal, it's been tied up for 15 on another floor. And we were supposed to be off over a half hour ago. Some jerk ordered this delivered to 4014. Well, now they're sorry, but can we deliver it to 3504? Do you know how much this weighs? 700 pounds. Hi. You'll have to wait for another elevator. Yeah, but you see, we're together and we have some business to take care of here. I'm sorry. Um, Eddie, give me the case. Eddie, give me the case. Just a minute, will you, pal? Bear with us, folks, for we'll just be a second. Would you hurry it up, please? Yeah, yeah, we're hurrying. Hold on. You're stepping on my feet. Hold it. One wheel's 
time long. I'm sorry, but did you want to get out of that floor? It's okay. Are you all right? Yeah. I just don't like tight places. Sounds like a touch of claustrophobia. Huh. My husband had that. There's only one cure for it. Yeah, what? Stay out of tight places. Calm down. Everything went perfect, exactly like I said it would. Well, it's all right, folks. It's all right. There's nothing to worry about. Then why did we stop? Something's wrong with this elevator. Do you think it's a power failure? Of course not. It is. Maybe a malfunction. We'll be moving here any minute. Oh, I'll tell you what, I would like to run. Yeah, that's, that's the emergency backup system now. The hurt looks great. Is everybody all right? Uh, is anyone hurt? At least we're all on our feet. Oh. Wendy, are you all right? <laughs> what is it, your ankle? Mm -hmm. You probably just twisted it. Oh. I'm just a baby about pain. Could somebody please get this thing moving? Oh, yes, yes, of course. I mean, look, take it easy. Uh, what about the emergency button? Try that. Hmm? Oh, yes, good idea. Work. I don't hear anything, do you? No. Well, it must be connected to the main circuit, but uh, <clears throat> there's, there's nothing to worry about. The second time you've said that. I may say it several more times. You see, <coughs> oh, I, I am sorry. Yeah, you be careful. Couldn't we try to get the door open? Maybe yeah, we try to pry it open.
Suppose he got caught. Rambo could have untied himself and called the police. Don't worry about Rambo. Well, then something happened to Eddie. Hey, shut up. I'm trying to figure this. Now, uh, let's all give him just as much room as we can. You take it easy, fella. You're gonna be all right. You get me out of here. Look, um, I want to get to that emergency telephone. Oh, that's good thinking, Mr. Ellis. Late, but good. They haven't had time to put it in yet. What do you intend to do now? I am going to have the man responsible for this fired immediately. Why don't you get us out of here first? But we are going to get out of here. It just may take a little while. We don't have a little while. Well, why don't you just close your eyes? Think of Ocean Bay. Will you shut up, lady? Uh, you just calm down. I think, I think that we should all calm down and wait for them to come and get us. Who's going to come? Who knows we're here? Listen, lady, somebody is going to miss us. Oh, my Lord. What? Oh, my what? what? Mrs. White was coming over to bring those sandals for the sofa tonight. Oh, either. I told you, Mr. until we go get him. Oh, no, he goes crazy in small places. We've got to go help him. He'll be all right. You don't really care about Eddie at all, do you? Honey, as long as he's got that briefcase, he's the only thing in the world that I care about. Hold on there. What's wrong? I didn't mean to alarm you folks, but the building's closed. Well, we have to go upstairs to see what our friends are. Yeah. Uh, you folks tenants here? Uh, well, um... Uh, sorry, rules. I can't allow anybody upstairs after closing unless you're a tenant. You'll have to leave. We what? have to see someone. Sorry, lady. The building's closed for the holiday weekend. Nothing this exciting ever happened in Philadelphia. 
Your husband certainly lives up to his job, Mrs. Reynolds. Thank you. Uh, oh, Mrs. Reynolds. I just, huh? I, I've just been uncomfortable. Sure. I'm just uncomfortable. Why don't you try sitting down? Get off your feet. Uh, help her, Edith. Sit down. Sit down here. I think I'll have you sit down, too. Uh, give me that case. That's mine. Yeah, easy. Just take it easy. You just be quiet. Keep breathing. Be quiet. Keep breathing. One guard for that whole place, would there? No way. What happens if one of them finds Eddie? That's why we gotta get back in there to find him. Wait a few minutes and we'll be back in. above it. That's in case the doors jam. People can't get out. Get out. Get out. Get the damn oh, hatch open. That's it. That's the one. I'm sure. Here. I can't reach you. Can you? Let me see if I can try it loose. that the Marines are looking for a few good men. <laughs> Come on, get going. Okay, but it's a dumb waste of shoe leather, you know. All the lucky people are enjoying the holiday. Nobody will be near this building for three whole days.
Everybody's good. Please be quiet. We need tools.
get much of our chances, do you? Not with him up there. There's not a thing we can do. It's not going to help anyone that might be coming to rescue us. What do you think he's going to do to us? I still can't see him. We're gonna have to go higher. What happens if somebody finds us? You stop whining. Get enough of that from that hero boyfriend of yours. What if somebody sees us? Well, then we'll close their eyes. Okay. me here. I told them I wanted that new shopping center in Palm Springs, but no, they give me this. Nineteen years with this company and they have to stick me with this lousy dog. Well, it's the truth, you know. This building is made of lies. I don't care if I do lose an important customer or not. It's all right, Mr. Ellis. You won't. People want to be lied to. They do, you know. Well, I'm not going to play that game anymore. It's time for... A little honesty. Before I die. Rambo on Suite 3900 has been murdered. Looks like robbery. I'm going to check around. Money, didn't he? Probably. He's got all that money up there and it doesn't help him. That's right.
talk to someone. Oh, I knew we'd be saved. Shoot us first. Come on, help me drag him out of sight. I don't want to help you with anything ever again. Hey, honey, if you want to find it, you better. What's taking them so long? Well, when they finally found us in Philadelphia, it took them nearly an hour to get us out. Sounds like Eddie. something. It's very important. What is it, Mrs. Gideon? I don't have any sons. Or daughter-in-law. I don't have any grandchildren. I have no family at all. I made them up so I'd have something to talk about. Has your partner called you back? Not since he found the body. All right. We'd better.
better seal the building. You two take the garage area. The rest of you cover every floor. Glad to see you. Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, honey, I'm fine. I can't. Be careful, that case is broken.
he's going to fall again, and we, we've got to go down the shaft for all going to die. Take it easy, Alice. Just pray that he does make it. Because that's our only way out. I'll have to climb up there. It's okay, man. We're gonna make it worse. <laughs> we have time. <sighs> oh, can you... I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, I, I just wanted to pick one score. That's how we can have some kind of a good life. I'm... Pete, Pete, you made it sound so right. Forget about Pete. We can still have a life. We can. Now, come on. Come on. Robert, you're the only one that could possibly climb that hose and get help. Do you think you can make it? Yeah, I think I can. Oh, please don't send him again, please. Mom, it's okay. Don't worry, Mrs. Peters. I'm sure he can't. Oh. Oh. Where did you come from? Where in the hell have you been? Officer, I want to report a robbery.
of you who need a ride, we have black and whites downstairs to take you home. Oh, how nice. But why don't we all have dinner together? How about it? Mrs. Kenyon, why don't we do it some other time? Oh, yeah, I think I want to be with my family tonight. Thanks, Mrs. Kenyon, but uh, I think we should go home. Yes, let's go home. How about you, Mr. Ellis? Are you free for dinner? Oh, no, I'm afraid I'm not, Mrs. Kenyon. I have to call my boss and... and tell him that everyone is just fine. I uh, have to make out a full report of this incident and get that elevator back into condition as soon as possible. Well, I guess we'll have to have a reunion some other time. <laughs> Good night. Good night. You'll never believe what an adventure it was. I can't wait to tell my daughter and my grandchildren. You know, my second son-in-law used to be a policeman. As a matter of fact, he looked a little bit like you. How would you like to stop and have a cup of coffee and a sandwich on the way home? I've been in that elevator for five hours, and I'm just famished. taking the stairs down to the car later and giving the lift a miss. It's 42 floors, but think of the exercise, I suppose. Let's just hope I don't forget something. I have to come back up. Right, next on five, hold up. It's another movie for you to settle into on your Saturday afternoon. It's a comedy starring Jeff Bridges and Kim Bassinger, or Bass, I know, whichever way you're inclined, set in the 50s, but made in the 1980s. Nadine is next, here on five. Five. <laughs> 